Hello guys, welcome and thanks for clicking on my thumbnail to watch this video. This is George Vlogs right in front of you. Now if you look behind me, there are a number of Chinese people having their wonderful dinner and I'm about to go and distract them. Yes, this is something that <laughs> you need to have a lot of balls to do. Now I came to this restaurant of course to have dinner aside some other things to what I came to do which I'm going to say in this video. But I thought to do something I haven't done before leave from my seat go to their seat and try to have a drink with them now you may ask me why am i doing this it's very simple it's a way for me to test if i am accepted where i am or not one thing is very difficult to define and that is your true friends when you are with your friends hanging out, playing and having fun, you can tell that maybe these people love me, maybe they don't love me. Why? Because you can see their reactions towards you. But when your back is turned towards them, how do they see you? Now, you are going to be seeing my gesture of moving from my seat and trying to have a drink with the man you see behind me. From the way he's looking at me even while I'm going, I know to a great extent he feels glad that I came around to have a cup of drink with them but if you're watching me right now you'll be wondering to yourself of course yes to some extent there are some chinese people that are racist but not all of them why do i say so because i believe you have to experience your environment before you run to a conclusion oh yes of course we watch other videos on youtube where people say a lot of things about chinese people of course yes indeed there are racist among them but for me I move around, I experience the environment, try to talk to people, try to see why they think the way they think. That is why maybe I learned Chinese. Of course, my Chinese is not very perfect, but to a great extent, I keep improving every day. Why? Because I take my time to try to interact with people. Not being to Chinese class a lot, but the way I learn Chinese is through interacting with the people. What you are about to see right now is a famous tradition of Chinese people when it comes to drinking. Oh yes, was she dong bei ren? Gambe! Now that if you are not from the northern part of China, we are very used to drinking. Although I can't drink as much as they drink because come on, we could finish one crate of beer at a go, but I don't drink that much. But um being around people from the northern part of china which is where i've stayed for like two years now i've gotten used to this particular culture or this particular habit and you heard me saying something when i was sharing with them gambe gambe <laughs> okay, gambe is just like a way of you saying cheers but when i went to them no one was like, hey, what are you coming to do here? No one was like, hey, get out of our table or something. I just went with, to them with a drink and asked them for chairs. And we chaired together and drank together. And there's this culture when it comes to Chinese, um, you know, people that... If you, if you look at me the way I am, while I am drinking, I'm looking at them. And I wouldn't want to go deep into that. Maybe a Chinese person might comment on that particular, the reason why maybe when you're drinking, you look at the other person or maybe who should be the first person to drink or something. So you might see a comment in the comment section that explains that. But I just want to show you this particular gesture, which I think is a way for you to know if someone really does like you or if someone doesn't like you, because I do this a lot myself. Not every time just walk up to strangers, but if I see I'm in an environment where everyone knows I'm there, because I was actually in a county in Tianchang. I went there for a couple of shoots, which you're going to be seeing, as you can see pictures right now, me dressed like a waiter, but I went to shoot a promotional video for them because I used to be more of like an online celebrity. We call it here Wang Hong here in China. So most times I get to shoot videos with Chinese people or maybe for uh, advertisement or like for Chinese restaurants like this. Sometimes I get to dress like them and then serve food like them just for the purpose of making video. Why? Because it gives an image that oh, a foreigner has been here before or foreigners do come here to eat or something, but all for the purpose of content okay so yes to a great extent not all chinese people are racist as you can even see me dancing with them and all that um some are really really friendly like right here in the countryside where you get, you get to experience a little bit of racism could be maybe when you are in the city where people 
they are very much exposed to whatever they are exposed to but when it comes to people in the countryside they are more accommodating they are more welcoming because they don't really know that much about people of my race or foreigners that are aside them so when they see you they give you much welcome much respect much love and that's what i've been experiencing myself being here all right so what is the purpose of this video if you got nothing from me just get this one thing of course, yes, indeed, there are Chinese people that would be racist towards black people or maybe any other race or something. But to a great extent, it depends on your mindset as a person before coming here in case you want to come here and how you get to respond. I've said it many times in my videos, how you get to respond to the way they treat you, okay? I've experienced racism myself a whole lot of times, but most times I react in a very, very friendly way. Why? Because I know one thing for sure. This is not my home. And if I have to live as peace and tranquility with them, I have to learn to accept whatever comes to me, but still knowing my right as a person, but for the goal of love, peace and unity, I still interact and move with them. So my mind is never close to the people here. Not of course, if not, why would I still be here? My mind is never close to them because I know some of them are still learning. Things are better than how it was years ago before I came here. Come on, I used to watch other creators like Wadamaya and name a couple of them that create content about living and working here in China. But to a great extent, my life has been able to advance and become better and better as I get to interact more with the people, move with them and experience a better or would I say the bright side of life. So in case you liked watching this particular video, be sure to give it a like. If you don't like it, say you don't like it. It's okay. <laughs>